This video is brought to you by Kaiser Knives. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. As I'm sure you can hear on the video, it's a rainy day in New Hampshire, just overcast, gray. They said the rain was gonna be passing through, but it just keeps on falling. So, that being said, I've wanted to make the video for these two knives and these two sheath systems that I had built for the knives. Uh, I've wanted to do that for a while, and I finally got them back, and I was gonna shoot the video today. The weather was not great, but I just said, forget it. I'm getting outside, we're gonna make it happen. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Operator 7 and the Little Bugger from Topps Knives, and then two sheath systems from Black Bear Custom Kydex. So I'm gonna roll in some video here just so you can get an overview of the two knives and some of the details on them, and then we are going to uh, show you the knives in use and talk about them. All right, let's talk about the Operator 7 first. So as you can see, it's a big knife. It is 0.3 inches thick. So, you know, when I think about a big, hefty survival knife, outdoor knife, I usually think a quarter of an inch. This is bigger than that, obviously. Um, Craig from Tops told me that he and Leo were having a conversation. Leo was like, hey, we haven't done like a combat fighting knife in a while. Let's do one. And boom, this thing was designed. So um, it certainly has applications in that direction. And yet, when I saw it, I was like, that's, that's just a large, hefty knife that I'd love to use out in the woods. So that's what I was thinking of, of when I got it. 1075 is your steel, which is a little bit different for tops. They do some things in 1075, but most of their stuff is done in 1095. So yeah, a little bit outside the box from what they standardly use as far as their steel. Just give you a, a look at the blade there. You can see you got your fuller, you got some recurve. Look at the tip there. Let me show you what that looks like. There's that. You got your... Um, your hand guard there. So, I mean, uh, for some people, they're like, I don't want that, that's just in the way. But for me, I like that, especially with a big knife like this, because I'm gonna use this aggressively. So that's gonna give me a little bit more safety. You do have a big choil there, so you can sharpen all the way down. You can choke up like this as well to use the knife. Two lanyard holes on the end there. Handle nice and thick. That's one thing for me with Topps knives. The knives are either like just the right thickness for the handle or sometimes they're just too thin for me. This one is a good thickness. I've got large size hands and uh, yeah, that fits really comfortably. So um, yeah, I mean, just a cool, cool knife, big hefty knife. And it's, so it was kind of interesting to see this knife and think about, okay, that's just a, a huge knife I'd love to use in the outdoors. And then on the other end, the little bugger is tiny. It's a very small knife. I think Craig from Topps told me it's the thinnest knife that they have in their entire lineup. So you've got the two ends of the spectrum, but if you've watched the Everyday Tactical Vids channel, you know that we talk about systems a lot. And so, you know, a knife for chopping, bigger, harder, more aggressive use, and then a smaller knife for little detail use. So yeah, that's why I put the two systems together. And again, we're gonna talk about the knives, show you the, them in use, and then also talk to you about two sheath systems from Black Bear Custom Kydex. He did an awesome job with these, uh, with these sheets. So there's a look at the little bugger. Obviously you can see it is, it's just tiny. Let me grab the Operator 7 just to compare the two. I mean, you can see, look at that. Just not even close, obviously. Um, but this, this knife is small, it's compact, it's lightweight. Um, if I remember the story correctly, Matt Graham, who is the designer, wanted something that he could uh, carry when he was out running. He's a big runner, and so, you know, in a pair of gym pants, so not a big, hefty pair of cargo pants or cargo shorts. Um, so yeah, so that's where this, this came from. That Warncliffe style blade, you've got a little little kind of notch up there. So you could put your, your thumb up there. There's jimping on the top, but also for a fire steel, obviously, you can use that. Super, super thin, as you can see. Handle is very compact too. It's interesting, because like I said, Topps knives, sometimes the handles are too small for me, but it's like the middle thing. This is so thin that as I hold it, even though it's really thin, my hand falls comfortably um, around the handle. If it gets kind of in that middle range where it's like a little too thin, but not super thin, but not super thick, it just doesn't work for me. So 
um, yeah, these two these two knives, I feel like cool system for detail work, large chopping, aggressive work. Um, I'll show you the sheaths that they come with, which actually both are really nice. Um, but when I saw them, I thought, yeah, I want to send these knives to uh, Micah up at Black Bear Custom Kydex. Definitely check them out. I'll put a link down below. Black Bear Custom Kydex, he's done a ton of work for me, and he just does amazing work. So that's a little kind of, you know, brief overview on the knives. Let's put them to use and see how they work. So as you would suspect, no issue whatsoever for the Operator 7 with some batoning. And the same for feather sticking, obviously, it gets the job done quite nicely. So a different grind and a different blade shape for the little bugger, but still able to get some, uh, some nice feathers on both these sticks. So that wood is really soft. I mean, I could probably plunge this thing in really deep, but going in probably, you know, about this far into the wood and then prying up. I mean, as you suspect with a with a blade this thick, no issues whatsoever. Camera's getting all foggy here. So one thing I can tell you is I would definitely have preferred a lanyard on here when I was chopping, just because how aggressively you're swinging and just, yeah, it's wet out. I mean, you can see my hands are pretty grimy. Would, would be it would be nice to have some more control there. And you could run a lanyard through here and then through one of these slots as well to give you even more control. So you can go there and then underneath, or you can go here and then I mean, you could wrap it around your wrist. There's lots of ways to set it up with uh, all the options built there into the handle.
So the rain hasn't let up, but I had to change locations because at my other location there was a guy off in the distance running a chainsaw. It was just too loud, so I'm at a new a new spot. Um, you could see some of the residue on the little bugger from uh, striking the fire steel, and I can tell you that the little notch for that definitely works. The fire steel I was using was a larger fire steel as opposed to you know your average size smaller one, um, but it worked either way. So um, that's something to note because many tops knives don't have. Um, any kind of angle on the spine or yeah, any kind of angle on the spine where you can strike a fire steel easily So that being said you probably also noticed that I've been using the operator 7 more um, When I think about this thing, yeah, it's detail work for me I'm gonna default to the big knife and then use this for more specific tasks If I caught a fish and I had to gut it and then you know get it all prepped to cook This is something I would use, you know, you choke up do that do that fine cutting um, Certainly you can use this as an everyday carry knife. So it'll do the outdoor tasks too. Just want to show you got some rope here it's not a huge blade with a huge, um, you know, cutting edge, so length of pull is a little bit of a challenge for it. There we go. Yeah, that got through. I wouldn't try to double this over and cut it because the blade is just not long enough. Um, but it, it'll, it'll do these tasks and do the cutting for paracord. You know, if you had to cut some plastic things like that, um, whatever, out in the woods, it'll, it'll get the job done. So as soon as I cut that last piece of rope, a car pulled up into the parking lot of this multi-use recreational area pretty off the beaten path but someone was there too so i'm at another location now and i'm going to finish this video i don't care if a parade comes down the road like we're going to make this happen so you've seen the operator seven you see the little bugger i would default toward the big knife to use it for most tasks and save the little bugger for smaller tasks and the operator seven is big hefty it's going to do the job so if you like a big heavy hefty knife i, I would check this out um large size hands it fits my hands comfortably does the tasks well and uh, despite the fact that it's a big knife it felt manageable to me so that being said let's talk about the two kydex systems that black bear custom kydex built for me for these knives so here's a look at the first one you can see we have kydex that's in cryptech then we have orange here and then the biggest size of the theorem cell vault here on the bottom those are all attached and on the back we've got a tech lock so yeah it's going to be a cross draw which i like for this style so wearing it on this side draw it out like that just give you a little close-up to see what that looks like so drawing the operator 7 out easy to do little bugger out easy to do and then the way Micah set this up is that you've got a shock cord there you take this off you, you pop this little section and then you turn it like this and out is the gear is gonna drop now you could set it up the other way but actually like this because if I've got a fire steel or whatever um, it's gonna fall right into my hand or just take it off Loosen it up, you know, and then you can take out what you want and then when you want to put it back Click it back in Wrap your shock cord around the, the little tab there and then up like so So that system number one. I think a really great job. He did there. There's the black bear custom kydex logo there on the back It just looks beautiful so and again, if you if you've uh, not if you're not familiar with his work, he'll do tons of different colors, systems set up. He's actually has a really cool um, option now where you can get like a piggyback system and you can take the smaller knife off as well. So there's system number one from Black Bear Custom Kydex with the Operator Seven and the little bugger. Here's a look at the second system. This is Kydex with leather wrapped around it. So very similar system. Easy to draw out. Easy to draw out. And then you have the largest size of the theorem cell vault again with the bungee so you loosen that release the little tab turn this up and then you could store gear in there survival gear you know batteries for your headlamp whatever you want to do and then this just clicks down in you run the bungee under that little tab so that's what that looks like so this is obviously leather it's got maybe a little bit more of an earthy feel to it same system on the back as far as the cross draw and you could set this up with a dangler however you want to set up but there's look at one let me grab the other one so you can see them both um, side by side kydex wrapped in leather and then there's your straight kydex right there that's what those two look like so great systems just really like these systems um, that he's put together let me readjust my camera now so you can see what the sheaths look like on my belt
Let me wrap up here and offer you some final thoughts. First off, price point. I'm gonna put that right here in the video and just realize that the knives are relatively new and then as time goes on, sometimes prices change or drop, they'll do sales. So these are the current prices as of November 1st, 2018. Second thing, let me talk about the little bugger. Um, I've used it in the woods, you know, on camera, off camera. What I'll tell you is that I actually, I like it in this system, but I think I'm gonna like it even more as a small fixed blade EDC knife. So I just think it's got, uh, it's lightweight, it's small, it's compact, it does a good job cutting. Um, I think I'll, I'll use that as an EDC knife uh, in addition to having it as part of this system. Now when it comes to the Operator 7, who is that for? Um, you definitely gotta like a large knife. You gotta like a big, hefty knife um, that's gonna have some weight to it, but it's gonna do a good job. I mean, anything bigger than .25, I consider not just large, but extra large, and um, it, it works. I mean, it does the job, and it's gonna be able to be used aggressively. Um, one thing that I would encourage people to think about is the recurve, because that's gonna be a challenge for some people to sharpen, so get yourself a sharpening rod. It's just gonna make the whole process a lot easier. As far as Black Bear Custom Kydex, their website is blackbearck, blackbearck.com, blackbearck.com. He makes great stuff. He's very skilled in what he does, but he's also very artistic, and he's willing to work with you depending on what you're looking for as far as the design, features, functions. I mean, he can do a wide array of things, uh, danglers, drop legs, all kinds of systems. Definitely check him out, blackbearck.com. All right, thanks as always for watching the videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care. Here, <coughs> built by Black Milt. Pretending you're pressing the buttons. Pretending you're pressing it now.